What is up, folks? Jorge Nito here. Thanks for coming over, and welcome back. Guys, today we have a really awesome deck review for you. This is the 11th hour playing cards, and I'm so happy to be checking out these cards. I'm glad I finally got um, was able to get these in my hands. Um, these are created by Emily Slights and Bill Davis, fellow Malliance member, and it's been a good year. For the Malliance, there's been members who just put out great decks of cards. Um, what with the Speaks, uh, the Warriors, which I will review later this week. Uh, Emily and Bill's put out a few different decks, the 11th Hour being the first. Also Elevation, the Day and Night Edition. The Day Edition will actually be coming up soon, as well as the Breakthrough Playing Cards. Not to mention all the Black Roses, the Advocates, and everything else. I'm just going over some. These cards are special, and let's just, first of all, acknowledge the tuck. This is insane, and I'm actually going to read just a piece from Emily's site um, that talks about this tuck. Uh, but first of all, it says, uh, manufactured by the U.S. PCC, this Mark deck holds a lot of hidden symbolism. 11th hours printed on standard bicycle cardstock with air cushion finish, while the velvet soft black vellum tuck has a bronze foil inside and out. Colors of the quartz are changed to a classy deep red and beautiful bronze. But man, this is no joke. Like, I don't know if the camera can pick up that shine, but that is a beautiful, beautiful bronze. And the inside tuck is just as beautiful, gorgeous. You have 11 here and here on the little side flaps. And um, just a beautiful tuck case. I mean, it says right there, play your last hand well. You have Bill Davis Magic on the one side and Emily Slides 52 right there. Um, minimal ad copy on the bottom. It's a little hard to see. But man, these cards are insane. Look at, just look at how sharp and classy these cards are. Are. I mean, these just feel so good. I mean, with USPCC, you know you're getting quality, uh, superiority when it comes to playing cards. I mean, they, they just handle phenomenal. Not to mention, there is a very clever marking system. Now, if you do a riffle, um, you will be able to find it and discover it. And actually, one of the ad cards that's included um, is, it explains the marking system. It's very unique. With this deck, you're going to get two Jokers. Um, one of them is a pocket watch, the other is a pocket watch that looks like it's been broken, and there are two reveal, there's a reveal on each one of these that I cannot figure out, and I'm going to have to reach out to Emily because I, for the life of me, cannot figure these out. Um, I guess I'm not smart enough or something. Um, it even says on the card um, how to read these, but I'm just, I'm having an issue as far as, um, the markings on the other cards. Very easy, very easy to pick up on. Um, everything is standard except for a few of the courts. We have Daniel Madison, um, you know, as always on the King of Diamonds, pocket watch in one hand, nine of clubs and gambler's cop on the other. Uh, but you could see that those colors she was talking about, the deep red and the bronze. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous, classy um, card and just awesome colors. And then over here on the Queen, standard Queens, except for the Queen of Clubs, Emily Slights herself. And then for the Jacks, all standard except for Mr. Bill Davis, just there. And oh, okay, there is a Queen of uh, Clubs reveal right there on Bill Davis. Uh, that's the first time I noticed that. You also see a pocket watch as well. And I should mention, in each of these courts, you're going to find a little pocket watch Hidden somewhere um, in the court, you know, looks like it's uh, in his hand on this one, in their vest. Um, so that's that's a cool little feature. The aces, um, completely standard except for, you know, the, the coloring. The ace of spades, just absolutely gorgeous. 11th hour playing cards. And then Tempus Fugit, I'm sure that's probably Latin or something that... I'm unfamiliar with, but all in all, these cards, not only do they look great, not only is the tuck just absolutely amazing, 
I mean, I just can't get over how gorgeous that looks. I mean, the pocket watch, I mean, they went above and beyond with these cards. These cards, all that, but these cards handle great. The practicality of these cards is through the roof. Um, so, they're printed on standard stock air cushion finish. So, they're a little bit thicker, uh, which means they're durable. The longevity is there. They're going to last... Um, a, a good long time. They're modern cut, so they'll farrow from top to bottom. I'm having to stand off to the side because my stand broke, which just drives me crazy because I love that stand. All in all, these cars are just, I mean, velvet soft. They're just like butter. I mean, and that's what we would expect from USPCC. Nothing but the best. So guys, there you have it, the, the 11th hour playing cards. And let me just say this. I said all that and I didn't even say, you know, talk about the theme. The theme of this is obviously the 11th hour is the last hour. And so it's the whole idea of what would you do if you was down to your last hour. You know, it's the idea of, you know, there's not a lot of time left. Make the most of everything. Redeem the time. That's the sort of thing. My cat's going crazy. He wants outside. And so I'm going to have to tend to him. Thank you so much, guys, for checking out this video. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can find these cards. Jorge and Nito here signing off. Be blessed.